Hey everyone, in this video we'll talk about the data model design process and what are the steps in that and we'll go through this as a demo as well. So when you're designing a data model you essentially want to connect to a database and get some of the tables and then you want to transform that data and then you want to maybe configure the relationships or build some tax logic. So that's typically the, what's entailed in the data model design process, uh, specifically in terms of Power BI. So it does in, mean that uh, you know you've you've designed your underlying database, and you know you have the tables in with you, and then what is the process of building the data model in in Power BI? So you're going to connect to the database, going to transform your data, and you'll configure your data. So let's uh, just run you past this. So I'll um, just take you through that. So as you can see, I've got a blank Power BI file here, and what we'll do is we'll click to get the data. So we essentially want to build a SQL Server connection. So um, let's click that and it's localhost because I have a SQL Server database installed on my machine. And then I'll just get the name of the database, which uh, I'll just let me copy paste that and bring it here. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm connecting to the underlying database and I'm going to import the data. So here I just hit OK and it's showing me the table. So I'll get the dim date table, I'll get the dim account um, dim date. I'll also select dim geography, dim product, dim product category and product subcategory. So this is a bit of a hierarchy here. And I'll also get the fact internet sales table. So I'll select that. So and then, you know, I've got these tables selected. Essentially, I'm saying, hey, I've connected to the database. I want to bring all these tables in. So now if I click on transform data, it opens up the Power Query Editor for me, which is where we, you can uh, typically do your transformation or ETA. So let me just bring that um, Power Query interface here. And you can see here that the Power Query Editor is opened and it's showing me the tables. Now let's say I, I'm not interested in quite a few keys. So I could just go here and say, hey, I don't need these columns, so maybe we'll just say, um, just scroll through this. So just for the sake of example, you know, as part of transformation, I don't need this, so I'm removing the columns I don't need. Remove the tracking number. And uh, maybe I also don't need the unit price discount percentage. So I'll remove that. So essentially I've done some form of transformation where I've said, hey, I don't need these values, don't bring them in. So, you know, that, that's one way. And then I'll just hit close and apply. And what essentially close and apply does is it'll load all that data into the Power BI. So this is what it's doing. It's loading the data for us. And you can see that this data has been loaded. So you can see the data on the right hand side, all the tables we wanted. And we can go to the modeling tab. Let me just first go to the data tab. And then, you know, once I'm on the data tab, I can hit manage relationships. And then I can I can see how the relationships, so Power BI creates those relationships in the backend by itself by analyzing the data. But I don't want a relationship with the dim date. Uh, so let me just close out of here and I'll show you what I mean. So maybe I want the relationship based on order date. So I'm going to uh, define or, you know, uh, my relationships here. So these, uh, we leave these two tables for now. And you can see, I'll just drag them date out. So you can see there are three and only one of them is active. So date key is due date key. And the second one is on the order date key and the third one is on the, maybe some other date. Let me just extend this. So what's the last one for? So the ship date, but I want the order date key to be the primary or the active relationship. So let's just go back. All right, here I can just hit manage relationships and I'll uncheck this and I'll say I want the order date key to be the active relationship and I'll say close and you can see it's now changed. So uh, you are defining or uh, refining the data model here in Power BI. So essentially what we've done is we've imported the data. We've done some ETL, so we've connected to the database, we've transformed the data, removed some of the columns we did not need. And now we've loaded the data into Power BI Desktop. And now as, as the next step, what we're doing is we're defining the relationships actively. So this is an example. You could define these relationships farther on. You could tweak the data model, so on and so forth. So, so this is where we sit. And now I've got the so fact internet sales. And let's say I want to do an analysis. So I also want to define the dim date. So I want to mark that table as a date table. So mark as date table. So I'll just say, hey, mark this as the date table. So that helps me with the time intelligence. And I'll say this is the column to use for time intelligence. And I'll hit OK. Mm -hmm. 
so you, if, i would recommend anyone who's got a date dimension definitely go and do this um it definitely uh, help save a lot of space uh, and uh, optimize the data model one of the good things to do and then uh, let's say i i i quickly want to build maybe sales amount and i want to say by calendar year so i'll just select the calendar year in my x axis now let's say i also want to see hey uh, i also want to see the previous year's sales here so how do i do it so i, I which means i'm going to maybe uh, add something into my data model or refine my data model further so um, i've already got this logic i'll just kind of quickly copy and bring this logic here so let me bring it so all i'm doing here is i'm saying calculates fact internet sales and then i'm using a same period last year function i'm passing the full date alternate key so copy this and i'm calling it this function last year sales so let's just go here and on the on the fact internet sales i'll just say new measure and i will paste the measure that i want so i'll just copy paste this and that's it and now i'm i'm just going to check this and this measure will become available to me so you can see last year sales has been added so i'll select this as well and now you can see that so for 2010 my sales was a certain amount and now in 2011 it's showing me that as the previous year sales this is too small so uh, maybe that's so yeah you can see that so let's do this one it's 7 million i think 7 million 75000 so if you go here previous year sales so um you can see that it's it's we basically uh, created a measure or enhanced our data model in this so when you're doing uh, data modeling with power bi what are the steps we we'll just do a quick recap so the steps with the data model design process is you connecting to the database you're transforming the data and then you're configuring the data uh, so in that you could tweak the relationships in the underlying data model you could add uh, columns and measures uh, you could make some uh, data type changes as well so data model design process uh, at a very high level it involves connecting to a database and then transforming the data and configuring the data so you can do analytics on top of it so i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel like my videos if you enjoy what i'm doing uh, let me know if you'd like me to take any specific topics cheers bye